Lumidor Safety Products, the reliable name in gas detection instruments. Micromax Pro, Lumidor's next generation multi-gas detector. Easy to use, reliable, and compact. The Micromax Pro comes equipped with these standard accessories. AC battery charger, alkaline battery holder, dust filter, 10-foot sampling hose with filter and water trap, rubber boot with belt and neck strap, and an instructional manual. Micromax Pro on. Additionally, each unit provides voice and display messaging that can easily be programmed in English, Spanish, German, and French. Simply select the desired language. Other languages are available upon request. A hallmark of the new Micromax Pro is its wide range of user-selectable options. For example, among the numerous options are selectable gas alarm levels and calibration gas concentration. This innovative feature allows the Micromax Pro to be easily adaptable to the operational needs of the user. We will review user-selectable options later in this video. Improving ease of use and enhancing safety were the guiding principles behind the engineering of the Micromax Pro. For users, the results yielded new benefits that include an auto backlight display expanded from two lines to four, allowing for easier reading and the ability to access more information, an extended battery runtime of 12 to 14 hours, smart sensors for plug and play, fully automatic calibration, Calibrate. voice assist, data logging for saving information that can be downloaded to a PC, the combination of diffusion and internal pump for simultaneous monitoring of one to five gases, including oxygen, a combustible gas, and two toxic gases, three when using the combo toxic sensor. If power needs to be saved, the pump can be switched off and the diffusion mode will take over. For high noise environments, the Micromax Pro offers two additional accessories that are plugged directly into the unit, earphones and a vibrator. The Micromax Pro's durable all-metal case provides superior RFI EMI shielding as well as protection against dust and water. Micromax Pro has been designed, tested, and manufactured under ISO 9001 standards and is UL classified for use in Class 1, 2, 3, Division 1, Groups A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Other approvals are pending and available upon request. In the following sections, we will introduce you to basic instrument usage. We will cover normal operations, user setup mode, calibration, basic maintenance, Max Pro alarms, and selectable programming options. Preparing for operation. Preparing the instrument for operation should be done in a clean air environment. To turn the instrument on, press the on off button until you hear a beep, then release it. The instrument will then automatically go through a 30 second testing cycle, followed by a 30 second zeroing cycle. After the testing and zeroing cycles, the display will briefly show the last date of calibration, followed by the low alarm levels, the high alarm levels, and voice on, indicating the voice function is activated. When the instrument reaches normal operating mode, the gas readings and levels will appear on the first two lines, 20.9 in OX or oxygen range, and zero for the other sensors. On the bottom left corner, P or D will be displayed to indicate pump or diffusion mode of operation. The current time is shown just beside P or D. Remaining battery time appears on the fourth line and is indicated as a bar graph. Micromax Pro Alarms. The Micromax Pro provides both audible and visual alarms. Warning. Warning. The audible alarm is 90 dB at one foot. The visual alarm appears as a large LED bar and flashing display characters. Micromax Pro includes the following alarms. Low gas alarms. Low gas alarms indicate a gas concentration above the low alarm set point. It is indicated by three beeps, flashing LED, flashing gas range of the sensor in alarm, and the display of the word warning. Voice will also indicate warning except for O2, which is indicated by danger. High gas alarms. High gas alarms indicate a gas concentration above the high gas alarm set point. 
it is indicated by three beeps, flashing LED, flashing gas range of the in-sensor alarm, and display of the word danger. Low flow alarm. A low flow alarm is indicated by a continuous audible alarm, flashing LED, and the words low flow are displayed. After 10 seconds in low flow alarm, the display will read pump fail. Then the unit will automatically convert to diffusion mode. The user must acknowledge this condition by pressing the on off button to clear the low flow alarm. Low battery warning. Low battery warning alerts users that there is approximately 15 to 30 minutes left until the unit goes into battery depleted alarm. It is indicated by two short beeps every 15 to 20 seconds, along with the words low battery on the display. Battery depleted alarm. The battery depleted alarm is indicated by five audible beeps. The display of battery depleted followed by shutdown. To access peak reading, simply press the mode button. To clear peak readings, press on off. You can return to the normal operation screen by pressing mode twice. When you are ready to turn the instrument off, hold down the on off button until off is indicated. User setup mode. The user setup mode allows you to access the following functions. Pump status, voice status, confidence, calibration, and clear memory. To access user setup, press mode repeatedly until the user setup screen appears. Then press on off to access user setup functions. You can scroll through each function by pressing mode repeatedly. A function can be changed or initiated by pressing the on off button. For example, you can change from pump to diffusion or you can turn on or off the voice assist. Calibration. Calibration should be performed on a regular basis and in accordance with your organization's safety policies. This procedure should be carried out only in a clean air environment. As we demonstrated previously, the automatic calibration function is accessed by scrolling through the user setup mode until calibrate appears. Press on off to initiate calibration. The instrument will first complete a zeroing countdown. Make sure the regulator is attached to the gas cylinder. When apply gas is displayed, Attach the calibration hose to the unit's pump port and turn on the gas. As the gas enters the unit, calibrating will appear along with a countdown to zero. When calibration is finished, cal complete will be displayed. Verify the readings with the levels on the cylinder. At this point, you can remove the hose and turn off the gas flow. The unit will then go into a purging mode and count down to zero. After purging, the unit will automatically clear peak TWA and STEL values. Calibration is complete. Basic maintenance. In this section, we will review battery installation, sensor replacement, sensor removal, or addition. The Max Pro can be powered by either of two sources. The first is the M Pro NIM rechargeable battery pack. The second is four AAA alkaline batteries that are inserted into the supplied alkaline battery holder. To install alkaline batteries, simply open up the battery compartment in the back of the unit. Load alkaline batteries in the battery holder. Then insert the alkaline battery holder. Be sure that the connector end of the battery source makes electrical contact with the unit. When unit is operating with alkaline batteries, display will show voltage instead of a bar graph. After installing MPRO NIM rechargeable batteries, charge the unit prior to use. To do this, Plug in the AC battery charger and connect it to the unit's charge port. As the unit is being charged, the display will read charging battery. When it is complete, the display will read charging complete. This cycle takes approximately four hours. The instrument is now ready for use. Sensor replacement. To replace sensors, you must first unscrew and remove the unit's back panel and disengage the battery pack connector. Remove the single screw securing the gas plate. You can remove the desired sensor by lifting it straight up. To install the new sensor, align the pins with the socket and push down to secure the sensor.
After installing the sensor, attach the battery connector and reassemble the unit. Calibration completes this process. Sensor removal or addition. It is important to remember that when you add a sensor, you must remove the plug located on the gas plate above where the new sensor is to be inserted. This will ensure that gas is allowed to reach the sensor. Removing a sensor involves reducing the unit's number of sensors. In this case, it is necessary to insert a plug in the gas plate to prevent gas from leaking where the vacated sensor no longer resides. To finalize this procedure for adding or removing a sensor, you must calibrate the unit. Advanced Programmable Options One of the hallmarks of the Micromax Pro is its wide range of advanced programmable options. This unique feature allows the Micromax Pro to be easily adaptable to the operational needs of the user. In this section, we will review the advanced programmable options that are included in every unit. To access advanced programmable options, first turn on the unit. When it begins counting down in the test mode, hold down the mode button between 5 and 7 seconds. Doing this will allow you to enter advanced programmable options. You can scroll through these options by repeatedly pressing the mode button. To enter an option, press on off. It is important to remember that if you accidentally bypass a desired option or you want to go back and make a change, you must re-enter advanced programmable options from the beginning. Refer to your manual for a more detailed description on programming options. Select LEL gas type. The first option displayed is Select LEL gas type. This programming option allows a user to calibrate with methane but obtain direct gas readings equivalent to methane, pentane, propane, hexane, or xylene. To program the unit, press on off. This allows access to the menu. Use the mode button to select the gas type and the on-off button to lock in your selection, exit the menu, and advance to the next option. Setting the time date format. The default date format is month, day, year, which is customary in the U.S. The time has been set to Eastern Time Zone. Refer to your manual for a more detailed description of this feature. Data log frequency. The data log frequency may be set at 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5 minutes to provide from 40 to 200 hours of data. The default setting is one minute. Press on off to enter the menu sequence. Use the mode button to select one, two, three, four, or five minute interval. Press on off to accept the selection and exit. Auto zero during startup sequence. The default setting for auto zero is on. If you are not always able to turn the instrument on in a clean air environment, you may toggle this mode off by pressing the on-off button. This will change the setting and advance to the next screen. Last calibrated date. The default of this feature is on and will be displayed during the startup sequence. To turn off this feature, simply press the on-off button. This will change the setting and advance to the next screen. Latching alarms. The default setting for the unit is latching alarms off. This means that the unit will cease alarming when gas levels fall below the alarm set points. To change to latching alarms on, press on off once to make the change and exit. With latching alarms on, the unit will continue to alarm even when gas levels fall below the alarm set points. The alarm can only be turned off by pressing the on off button. Calibration gas level. The calibration gas level option allows you to select other gas levels to be used for calibration. Refer to your manual for a more detailed description of this feature. High alarm set. The high alarm set option enables you to change from the default setting to a different alarm setting that is within limited parameters. Refer to your manual for a more detailed description of this feature. Low alarm set. Like the high alarm set, the low alarm set also provides you with the option of changing from the default setting to a different one within limited parameters. Refer to your manual for a more detailed description of this feature. Calibration due date. The default setting for calibration due is off. However, this function allows you to turn it on as well as select the frequency at which it appears. 
you can select 1 to 90 days. This information will be automatically displayed during startup. Calibration completes this process. Language set. The default language is English. However, other languages can be accessed in this function. First, press on-off to enter the menu and mode to select Spanish, French, or German. Press the on-off button to lock in your selection and scroll to the next screen. TWA alarm set. The default setting for the TWA alarm is off. To change this setting, press on-off to turn it on and scroll to the next screen. Default. The default option allows you to return all the advanced programmable options you have programmed back to their default settings. To do this, press on off. Calibrate. This option enables you to calibrate in the programmable options mode. To bypass this function, press the mode button. Micromax Pro on. All the options we have just reviewed can be set using the computer interface upload feature that comes with the software package. The new generation Micromax Pro was designed for ease of use and enhanced safety. The addition of user selectable options allow the Micromax Pro to be adapted to a wide range of operational needs. In addition to Micromax Pro, Lumidor offers other safety products to meet the growing demands of industry worldwide. For further information on Lumidor safety products, you can contact us at 1-800-433-7220 or visit our website at www.lumador.com.